Senate President Chis Escudero quashes rumors a rift is brewing between the President and the Senate. Word of the possible tiff sprung after the chamber and the president issued conflicting positions on the public transport modernization program. In an interview over at the forefront on the Billionario News Channel, Escudero said it's just what can be expected in a working democracy. On the part of the president and the Senate, no, Karen, there is no gap, there is no misunderstanding. It's just, as you said, democracy at work. A resolution by the Senate called for the suspension of the PTMP until all issues over the program are resolved. President Bongbong Marcos quickly rejected the idea, saying the PTMP had already been postponed many times and that 80% of jeepney drivers and operators have already complied with the program. Escudero says it was not the intention of the Senate to stop the program. The resolution only covers those who have not consolidated their franchises yet. The hearing was generic. The resolution was drafted, that was drafted was generic as well. But this is the intention of the Senate. I, this is clarified with Senator Tulfo, the chairman of the committee, as well as every senator who signed, that that is the intention of the Senate. Even those who consolidated, even those who are in favor of modernization, also have some complaints, a lot of them actually, which needs to be addressed as well, which we will take up with the Secretary. Dowsing rumors of a rift further, the Senate President made it clear that he agreed with President Bongbong Marcos's so-called stronger stand in asserting the country's claim over the West Philippine Sea. I also agree with his position that um, this should not lead to war. The President has been very patient in spite and despite provocations from China. Um, not to allow this to go, um, to, to go beyond a certain line that will most likely lead to war or um, worsening of relations between the Philippines and China. Escudero also clarified the Senate's plans for special non-working holidays. That's after his statement on limiting these went viral, as some interpreted this as cutting the number of holidays. The logic of the Senate's position is this. We don't want to add to the holidays, but we will not subtract or deduct from the existing holidays. That is a long debate that will probably take decades um, to um, discuss or settle. And when asked to assess the Marcus administration, the lawmaker gave this rating out of 10. I think a 6 or a 7, um, Karen. And I think even if you ask the president himself, he'll rate himself um, close to that number. Simply because um, it's barely halfway through his term. And um, he still has four years and a long way to go. I think he himself um, sees things, a lot of things still needs to be done. And the first three years, first half of any president's term is usually spent laying the foundation. Escudero later said he agrees with points brought up by the chief executive during the State of the Nation address, as there is still room for improvement like lowering the prices of basic commodities. But moving to the vice president, it came as no surprise to Escudero that Sara Duterte criticized the government, particularly on the lack of a flood management master plan. Everybody's expecting that already. The chill start to hit government will be um, leading the opposition, so on and so forth. But some of the criticisms initially hurled by the vice president against the president are um, unfair, to say the least, because the president has been in office for only two years. Now, um, if the previous administration, his father, her father, who sat for six years, was not able to come up with one for six years, then why expect um, the president to come up with one in um, two years. As for his own political plans, the Senate president is firm. He has no plans of moving higher up in government. Iran already been there, done that. Agatha Gregorio, Billionario News Channel.